beautiful makers. Happy fresh new week to you all. I hope you all are doing well. I am doing well. I am still waking up. It is now Wednesday morning and I'm getting ready for a full day of work ahead along with some really fun stuff as well. First up, I have the Patreon Stitch and Chat, so I'm looking forward to catching up with everyone there and a few meetings here and there and some projects and stuff for work. But I also have some really fun next steps on my makes too. My habitation throw is almost done. Uh, yesterday I just filmed a little bit. Um, I joined the final mini and so that's going right now and it'll be done today. I'm going to finish the blanket today so it'll be a momentous finished object day <laughs> today. Um, and then yesterday I did, I stopped kind of vlogging a little bit because I had to do my taxes, to be honest. <laughs> I waited till the last minute. They're due today, the 15th. And I just waited because, you know, who wants to do taxes during Corona end of world times, but they had to be done, got them done along with finishing up, sorting through, uh, all of my paperwork and I called and made sure that our industrial shredding place is still open down in Berkeley and it is so probably Friday or Saturday probably Friday I'm gonna go down and get all of that paperwork out of here and shredded so it was a really productive lightning of a day even though it was like the worst to doing taxes but today is a fresh day I'm back on the habitation throw and I am going to be separating for the sleeves on my ochre cardigan. So I'm going to go do that right now, right before the Zoom call. And um, of course, take you along with me and I'll check in with y'all later. But first, coffee too. <laughs> I forgot that I need to purl a whole row before I can separate for the sleeves. So I'm just going to try to do it on the Zoom call. Better get to purling. I'm gonna put the sleeves on waist yarn instead of these little metal stitch holders because they're gonna get on my nerves. Um, and now it's just blissful knitting and purling until the body is at the length that I want it and then it's the lace hem. So awesome! But I need to get a little bit of work done so I'm gonna do that and probably in between finish up my habitation throw. It is now Thursday and I've been up for a long time. It's just about noon. <laughs> I had the worst night's sleep. Just one of those nights where the red coats are coming, hormones are crazy, you get the hot flashes. So yeah, just ladies, you know how it is. But I'm doing well. I've gotten organized for the day. I've already had a couple of meetings. I've got some food on the stove that I need to get back to. I'm making some lunch. And I was gonna go to the grocery store today, but it's like the last thing that I wanna do. So 
I'll be making a few things today to kind of tide me through until Saturday. I'm gonna make some bread. I'm gonna try like a bread recipe from scratch using almond flour and stuff. I need to do something with the strawberries before they all go bad. So I'm gonna make some strawberry chia jam, uh, downshiftology, one of my faves. Um, and I think that's it for today. We'll see what else I get up to. And then of course, knitting wise, I am just about done with the habitation throw. I was going to finish it the other day, but I heated to the siren call of my ochre cardigan. Once I had split for the sleeves and had entered into blissful stockinette, I could not stop. So I'll show you that later, but first I'm going to finish up my habitation throw here in a little bit. My stomach is grumbling, so I'm gonna go finish up that lunch. happy to be done oh so exciting two little blankets made during the craziest of times ever <laughs> i will never forget making these blankets that's for sure oh, it's already the evening and just about a little bit past six o'clock i've already had dinner and I'm of course done with work for the day. I have settled in and watching the Durls in Corfu, which I hadn't seen yet. I missed the boat when it first came out here in America on PBS. Um, it just didn't appeal to me at the time. I think the marketing of it didn't, now having watched a few episodes does not match, in my opinion, match the show. It came off, or my impression of it at the time came off like it was another kind of colonialism kind of feel vibe to it. And it is not like that at all. In my opinion, I'd be interested to hear what you thought or think. Um, I'm really liking it. I like the quirky, the quirky, you know, heartwarming vibe of it. And plus, I like a lot of the actors that are in in the show. The main lead female character, uh, whose name is totally escaping me. I like the actors, and of course I don't know their names, but I like the actors. And then the oldest son played uh, Prince Charles in uh, the latest season of The Crown, so it's, it's cool. But anyway, I'm doing that and knitting now on my ochre cardigan since my habitation throw is done. And I'm probably going to hit the hay soon, which means once again, my best play, bless, oh Lord, I can't even talk. So going to bed soon is definitely on the horizon. Best laid plans are once again, going to be boosted over to the next day. Mercy. i got to cut it off soon here. <laughs> I'm going to bake my bread and make that jam. And I think also make some scones in the morning when I'm have hopefully a fresh brain um, and do all that and just chill out the rest of the evening. Critical Role is going to be on later, which is my favorite little show that I watch so live streamed as long as I can stay awake for it. And yeah, and I'm sitting here and realizing I haven't given you an update on my plants. They're thriving. The lettuce is doing really well. And the strawberry plant has like quadrupled in size <laughs> suddenly, it seems. 
I'll show you some um, close-ups here. So the strawberry plant, plant is doing well. Again, I need to sign off very soon. I can't even talk. And <laughs> the lavender is hanging in there. I need to look at the instructions to see if I need to do any new steps uh, in this crazy contraption of this kit that I got. Uh, and the daisies, which is also the same kit, it's actually doing really well. Um, the basil is doing okay. I probably need to do a little bit of a harvest to promote more growth. The oregano is going crazy also. So I need to, I need to snip off a little bit there and do something and cook with that. And the dill is doing really good. I need to be better about rotating it every day so that it grows straight up because it's leaning towards the sun right now, which was what my cilantro when I was growing cilantro did as well. And the moss rose is not doing anything. So I think the seeds were duds. So I'm probably, it's not the soil because I used different soil than the first time around. So I'm going to, um, dump that out at some point and put and plant something different in there. So we'll see. But yeah, I think I might have gotten cement. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to hit the hay. I will see you all tomorrow. Good morning. It is Friday and I am so glad that it is Friday. Hopefully my tea kettle isn't too loud there in the background. I'm boiling some water to make some iced tea for later in the day. But of course I'm having some coffee right now. I'm already started and at my desk today. I have <laughs> already done all my emails and I'm getting ready to sit down and do all of my to-do lists. It's gonna be a full fun day of work and also stitching the high notes work. I have a bunch of packages on the way for the shop, some stitch markers that are gonna be restocked and I've got some fabric on the way that I think now is gonna um, come on Sunday, which is a bummer, which is green linen for the drawstring channels and handles and stuff for the watermelon fabric and the orange fabric back there. So that'll be, those will be posted uh, next, early next week uh, for pre-order. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we're also launching the Bay Area Fiber Fair today, which I will have more details about later today. I'm really excited about that. So I've got to write a post for that. I need to do a behind the scenes post for Patreon. And, um, oh, and one of another package that is coming today that is, it's, came quicker than I expected is a microphone for an audio podcast, which I'm starting over on Patreon too. So I'm excited to do that. So yeah, hamster wheel full of inspiration, creativity, few projects that I need to plug into for work. So it's a good day. A few, I think I only have one meeting and of course knitting in between. I've done a few rows already this morning on my ochre cardigan. It's growing so quickly. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get to it. And just in time, my tea just stopped. <laughs> is done but I really want some scones with my tea so I'm gonna whip up my favorite scones which are current uh, cream scones essentially from uh, Against All Grain from her first cookbook they might be on her website if they are I'll put the link down below um, if not check out the cookbook it is so good I don't have currants but I have raisins so I'm gonna put them in there and they whip up really fast in the food processor
worn out that page so much that it's fallen out of the cookbook. <laughs> I love these scones. <laughs> I forgot that these are actually made in a mixer. I have a stand mixer, so I gotta put my food processor away. Oops. Done with work for the day. I am so happy. Let the weekend begin. Up first, tuck in and knit a little bit and watch one of my favorite podcasts, So Sweet Violet. <laughs> good. I can't wait till it cools down and I can get it into the fridge and to try it tomorrow on my scones. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to call it a night. So I will see you all tomorrow. I have a full day ahead, Saturday errands. I have bags to get out to the door to all of y'all that ordered more lemon bags. There's still some in the shop as of when I'm 
doing this little video right here and hopefully my packages will arrive i've got one here so far and more on the way including some green linen for the other fabric so hopefully tomorrow will be a very another very productive day like it was today good morning and just like that it is the weekend i am so happy it is the weekend i had a pretty good night's sleep and i had a nice slow morning i snuggled up in my recent cast off my i'm looking at it right now my habitation throw this morning enjoyed my coffee and read some magazines uh, it was so delightful. It was really, really foggy this morning and the fog has cleared now and it's nice and bright and sunny. And what else did I get up to this morning? Oh, I made uh, some, or I had some scones with some of the strawberry chia seed jam that I made yesterday, which was, oh, it's one of my new favorite things. I can't wait to make the jam with other fruits, maybe some blueberries, definitely raspberries awesome really easy simple delicious recipe and not overly sweet it's great um but yeah i've got a lot of things to do today fun fun things i need to get orders out in the mail i am gonna hop on here in about two minutes to the saturday stitch and chat with patreon patrons um and i've got a lot of other things i just restocked the shop a little bit with those stitch markers uh, and posted about it and I've got errands. I'm going to call again to see, make sure the shredding place is open. And frankly, I'm starting to waver because of the COVID numbers increasing and fluctuating. So I, I'm going to test out and see how fast it goes to use. I have a shredder. I just have so much to shred. I'm going to, I'm going to shred a little bit first today and see like how much is shredded within half an hour or until the shredder overheats and stops because <laughs> that's what happens um because i'm starting to think it might be healthier and wiser to try to just do it on my own and the more i talk about it out loud i think i'm going to do that so now that i have it all condensed and you know i think it's in a more doable manageable bulk i'm gonna do that instead of risking going to another place with multiple people and the unknown and the anxiety that comes with it because i also need to go to the grocery store today and that is starting to tick up again in my anxiety which i know it is for so many people so yeah so that's those are my thoughts for the day ahead uh it's now 10 30 so i will check in with you all later aboard the procrastination train now leaving the station choo choo <laughs> oh my gosh i just got home from the post office where i dropped off orders and it's almost three o'clock i am hangry i was in the zone and didn't eat lunch which was not good and i tell you it was all the people that i could do today so procrastination is hitting again i am not going to the grocery store i'm going to go tomorrow hopefully when it's a little bit quieter out there on a sunday usually it is and just stay home and chill out and relax the rest of the day i have made lunch i'm about to eat don't worry i <laughs> made another green goddess fig nourish bowl from cotter crunch i'll put the link down below if i didn't do it earlier this week i can't remember and um yeah i'm just gonna chill out oh and i decided to shred my paperwork myself i got my shredder out and i already started the process and yeah I'm just gonna go for it. So that's one other thing I can take off my list, which feels really good. And I did do quite a bit of work along with packaging up orders and everything. I um, got a few things done for Patreon and a few other things for the Bay Area Arts, Bay Area Arts, the Bay Area Fiber Fair, which just started yesterday. 
and it's from July 17th to October 15th. I will leave down the website below as well as the link to the Instagram and where you can find all of the details about it. It's a virtual fair, virtual online make along and challenge where there are fun prizes and little ribbon stickers that you can get from local vendors here in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, including from yours truly. So starting uh, with orders from this point on, so not today, I didn't get my stickers uh, printed out in time, but um, so from this point on, I'll have little ribbon stickers with your orders that you can add to a page where you can add stickers from other Bay Area vendors onto the page and collect them and all kinds of fun stuff. All of our stuff was designed by Shelly Can, who is an amazing graphic artist in the fiber community. And um, yeah, it's so much fun. I'll have, it, it goes until October. So I'll have many more details and things to share uh, in the weeks ahead, but just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Okay, for real, I'm gonna eat lunch now. Linner? I didn't think it's Linner. <laughs> It's fitting better and better the more that I knit. It feels a little bit like a really cute bolero right now. I love it so much. So I am gonna pick up the collar and do a short ribbed collar. And then I need to confirm in the pattern, but I think, I believe I have to do a button band. And I think I would wanna do one anyway. So we'll see there. But, oh, I love it so much. And I really kinda like it with the short sleeves. So I think I'm gonna do it with the lace kind of the end of the sleeve right here so the lace will be like right here so we'll see and I'm just about done with the let me move you up here I'm just about done with the second full skein of four so I'm gonna start a new one here when I start my new row in a minute yeah I'm really I'm loving it and it it does, it feels so far knock on wood it feels like the perfect fit right now so I'm really glad that I added that extra, it's hard to show, show you my armpit. <laughs> I added that extra inch before, after I separated the sleeves earlier this week. Yeah. But I'm gonna call it an evening, go make some dinner, chill out a little bit more. I just finished the first season of the Durls and Corfu. And I'm gonna call it an end for this episode. I hope you all are doing well and that you are staying safe. I'm sending all my very best out to you all and I will see you next week. <laughs>